Hello everybody, welcome to uh, episode 10 of the Spotter's Guide. And you may notice things look a little bit different. Today I am uh, using the Blockheads pack from Captain Slowpoke. So I thought I'd just give this a try. I haven't used a uh, skin for TF Craft in quite some time. And I also wanted to point out this. So mission was accomplished with a uh, uh, dunk earlier. We went out searching for iron and we found iron and I've already smelted down some of it but I'm going to go back and show it to you guys because it is definitely worth showing uh, I just need to make some space in my inventory and such because I want to fill it up again uh, do, 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 do. just need a temporary place to store these uh, these are actually the logs not the planks just FYI I also found out that I do not have a um, a saw anymore, which is just a little bit disappointing. So I'm not able to properly utilize uh, the lumber supplies. Uh, but here's some of the items and stuff, like chert. I have some more chert down here. So if I take out one, two... Right now, these are kind of all in a row. Oops. Oh, Rhyolite. That's where this one starts. So that's where this one starts. There we go. Uh, let me stick my coal back upstairs. Oh, I can't leave quite yet. I forgot all about... Whoa, I'm actually almost out of charcoal. Nice. I forgot all about the fact that I'm actually making charcoal. So I finally got enough trees uh, with the extra logs here. Uh, here. Uh, that, yeah, I was able to finish off the charcoal pit and get it burning. Still trying to learn my layout. I uh, cleaned up some of... Where did I put the dirt? There we go. I cleaned up some of my chests so they're all a little bit more uh, organized. Not exactly 100% good stone stone, uh, planty stuff, like trees and things like that. Mostly monster drops, although this has become the default dump it all here sort of uh, um, chest as well. Torches. Yep. Might need some more of those where we're going. Uh, going to put the buckets in here as I don't want to use any more mushroom. Oops. Haha, <laughs> gonna put the buckets in here as I don't want to use any more mushrooms because I want to make a mushroom farm, so that'll be coming up maybe even in this episode. Um, I'm gonna have to put a staircase down right here, so it might take a little bit of, uh, a little bit of time for me to reorder, ooh, ah, sheesh, to reorder my, uh, my storage a little bit. So, uh, that's basically it. Uh, as you can see, winter has set in. Uh, temperature is 10 degrees Celsius. My apple tree is now looking like a dead apple tree. <laughs> Just gonna chop down a willow. Uh, do I need a sapling? Yeah, I should get a sapling. Oh, uh, the other thing that we finished is we finally got enough people to have, uh, uh, iron ingots together that we have made a iron bucket so you can look forward to seeing some more uh, water and lava creations uh, specifically the lava we're looking into getting a uh, cobblestone generator together to help us with the um, some of the vanilla recipes we're hoping that we can find a way to make smooth stone out of it or maybe just exchange smooth stone so we can get a little bit more um, redstone in the game uh, like repeaters and such like that to, ah, freaking tree to um, uh, help with some creations and stuff like that like uh, bud switches and things where doing it with like a three second timer via torches is going to be fairly expansive mm -mm -mm. Ah, I like willow trees And hopefully our charcoal will be done. Nope. But 
that bucket. No bucket. There we go. So I'm not going to take it with me, even though I would like to. Although, actually, I should. Um, I like using lava for lighting and such like that. Uh, especially down sloping inclines like very long stairs into mines. So I am somewhat hopeful that I'll be able to set up some kind of a um, lava lights and such as I have done if you look through some of my other videos, especially like the um, under mountains and such like that or creative tours. Uh, that's usually where I've gone through and created things like that. And I will hopefully do some here. So the mine that we found is actually a mine that you've seen me in before. Is we went to the Gabbro mine and figuring, you know, starting Gabbro, maybe we'll find a couple of little pockets of nickel or whatever. And we ended up finding an unbelievable amount of coal. Uh, however, in with the coal, we also found some malachite. So we have uh, uh, another source of copper. And we also found the um, magnetite which is my least favorite of the iron ores, but it's at least iron ore. Uh, it does have a tendency to screw around with the bloomery a little bit, messing up its interface until it outputs the platinum, sometimes which happens immediately. Other times it took me like another, I don't know, six, seven pieces of uh, charcoal to actually get it to accomplish. And I'm also in desperate need of um, uh, molds, because I've used up pretty much every mold I have. Uh, I don't think I even have any left in there. Yeah. Oh, and tons of limestone is what we found at that place. So yeah, I'm completely out of molds, so that will definitely uh, take some time. I uh, just wanted to show off, um, if you've seen my post on the forums, I actually think that the, uh, the texture pack could use a little bit of work. And the stones like this and stuff like that I think could use a little bit more uh, defi or, well, lack of definition sort of thing. A little too contrasty, but I wanted to point out how awesome the like bloomery interface here is. I love how awesome that looks. I love how the uh, the metallurgy table has like the little slopes going down on the top for where the metal will go and then come back out there. Uh, there's a little Z-fighting going on with the textures in the chests. Um, that can probably be fixed just by uh, removing one of the lines of the textures where they overlap right there. And you can see when it's open, uh, they look just fine. It's only when they're closed. Uh, Z fighting is when the engine is rendering two textures to the exact same location and depending on little floating point error which always crops up or just however it happened to render this time, you know, my little change in change in position and looking and stuff like that. Uh, go down, go up that sort of deal. It just, it constantly gets confused as to which texture should actually be in that location. So that that's what Z-Fighting is, a little technical background for you guys. And... That's my little theme song there. Back down we go. Still not done. So, that's my uh, charcoal pit in action, is I have actually uh, revved the whole thing up into um, just having it right there. This is thanks to the new format that they can go. Uh, but honestly, even if they weren't able to go this tall, I would pretty much just lose the top area and still do this sort of a uh, interface design. It would just be harder to light the fire. But this works well for me. The, uh, the door takes up this block so it can't catch fire. And um, that, that keeps everything in there. And if wooden doors ever do get uh, it to be flammable, I can just replace it with an iron one and, you know, put a little button there or something like that. Uh, now, for the benefit of everybody, we are going to fast forward until that's done, <laughs> which, just looking through the door, uh, we'll be able to tell when it's actually done. So, hold on for one, maybe 15 seconds. We'll see how long it takes.
And there we go. Took a little bit longer than I thought, but I needed this. Oh, there's the rest of my charcoal. Jeez. I usually get more than that. That's the lowest I've ever seen. I usually get uh, three stacks or uh, two stacks on like 40 or higher. Ah, well. This'll do. And I'll just take a moment. One, two, three. One, two. Three. I'm not going to bother filling up the next one. Just do that. Uh, it's probably night time, but benefits of being one of the only people on the server, which I am, <laughs> can hit the bed real quick. Whoa! Whoa! -ho -ho -ho. Yeah, there's also new ha uh, textures for the mobs. And those little guys look really, really sad. So, so sad that they would not mind blowing me up. Don't need the sticks, so I'm not going to carry them. And I did not get my steel pick out of my chest. Damn. <laughs> uh, it means I need to go past the creepers. There. Mahahaha. <laughs> Can't damage anything when you're in the middle of the water. Oh! Can if I knock him into the land. Alright. Down we go. This stops me from jumping too far. There we go. So server lag, you always get a little bit, like one or two blocks extra with the uh, range on the creepers. But I'm going to take my extra steel pick because I know that I can always make another one and there's more than enough iron to replace this one. Uh, so I'm trying not to run. And that has got to be the weirdest looking willow tree. Willow tree I have ever seen. Anywho. So, no, I'm going to get more than enough uh, iron back. So I'm not overly worried about that. We're just going to head over to the Gabbro Mine, which is uh, roughly 300 meters from my house, which, you yeah, know, not too bad. Quick little run, night or day. Uh, it's just easier to do during the day, uh, especially with food being a bit of a concern. Ow. I'm trying to avoid overexertion, so I don't want to have to sprint too much, jump too much, that sort of deal. I'm uh, just going to smoothly walk over. Uh, this little tree here has actually been a little uh, savior. I don't know how many other videos you've seen it in so far, but I've gotten, I think, a total of four or five green apples off of it now. Just uh, luck, as it happens to grow, regrow a, uh, a branch, um, a branch of leaves every now and again, and I happen to come on by and pick it up. Although now that we're into uh, early winter, I would assume that it's going to start... Uh, Alright, it's not going to regrow its leaves anymore, so I'm probably done with eating off of that. You can see where we've had a little bit of a snow while we were in the uh, mine. Then we had some uh, connectivity issues earlier where some people just got booted for what we could tell was no reason. Oops, don't want to climb that. It is on the other side, but a little too much energy to get up that high. Oops, it's on the other side of this. And I remember thinking I should have uh, moved the entrance over to the water. And I'm going to have to jump twice, I guess. So when we came over, uh, we had a creeper take out the corner initially. So we've uh, reconstructed since. Got a crafting table and we've gave, given ourselves a door with uh, some lights and such around here. This is just chests of stuff that we've dumped off. There's some more of the magnetite. Some coal. I believe that's actually uh, mead stuff there. Uh, I wonder if he's missing that. Um, a mine is also a good place to do a, um, a mushroom farm because people are going to be here mining and stuff like that so it's a good place to grow. 
uh, started putting up some signs that leads to a Taiga 6 biome is we really lucked out actually with that because if you look here I'm in a Taiga 7 um, where my arrow is facing ends up being um, Taiga River 6 and then beyond it a actual Taiga 6 uh, we didn't find too many interesting new rocks down that way though down this way it kinda gets a little bit into 6 on the right hand side but then eventually down below just gets into 7 we found uh, lignite right here we got very strong hits all the way down to the center wall there that's not mined out yet there's uh, bituminous coal a little bit beyond that and malachite down there which is actually pretty nice uh, nice to have some copper on hand but we're going to go to planes 1 where there's lignite, bituminous coal and magnetite and I will do some uh, sprinting here to save some time this is a long staircase down we decided not to do the uh, the previous staircase uh, the main shaft is uh, I always try to do you know kind of uh, magnanimous and you know fairly impressive and such uh, that's the same way that they've done the hematite mine is you know the, the main staircase down is very impressive the other staircases kind of branch off and lead you to the different locations of where more and more stuff is found and we should be nearing in on the bottom in the 60-ish we finally found the chert yay people have been looking for this so this is a, a happy find just for a uh, source of rock and then I dug a tunnel heading off this way just uh, out into the anywhere and let me put my pro pick no tooltip but we know that very large sample of lignite oops did I actually yeah I just lost myself I, I know I'm in the right place but it seems like when I'm turning a single certain direction that it's skipping my camera on me okay so stairs that'll just help out later on and then we take a right into the mine this is all lignite and I know it doesn't look all that impressive but you have to understand that most of what we have mined out here is this stuff which is magnetite um, unfortunately they are kind of wrapped around uh, it's just the way that they happen to have spawned in this area but we have so far found significant amounts of the magnetite you saw all the stuff that I had back in the on my base still to be smelted you saw all the blocks that I have smelted down heck I've even almost got two full ingots of platinum at this point in time so this is very nice but this is what I really wanted to show you this uh, mead logged into the server and I immediately had to say hey man uh, can you come here for a second and I actually teleported him over oops whoa whoa evil zombie evil zombie alrighty so take a look at this this is what we found oh, let me I guess we have mined out <laughs> the place that we were standing on earlier this is a ravine and this is the ceiling these are the walls uh, the stuff over there ends up being the bituminous it kinda goes into there there's some more um, magnetite across the way this is just absolutely huge and the only thing I can think of is how big it would have been if the ravine wasn't here I mean this would have been solid with magnetite and uh, and the uh, lignite all the way through I mean that just would have been very very nice Oop, got some blocks here so I think we're at the the highest point is we just happened to luck in and around it where uh, of course now I'm going to mine over my head and find out that it goes well up as high as we saw in the ravine at least now I'll sneak on in here but uh, the one thing I have to say I really really do like about this uh, texture pack is I like how distinctive and uh, individualized the different types of the ores are is uh, that's actually a key concept in game design in general is you know gamers we'd like to be able to identify things pretty quickly so because uh, it playing games is generally a uh, an exercise in prioritization is so the faster that you can 
figure out what it is you were looking at, you know how you can react to it. It's like, you know, you see a creeper, you run away, or you brandish your sword and you, you try to lure him into an uh, yeah, advantageous situation. Uh, it's the same thing even when it's not uh, a combat situation, is people are just looking to identify what it is that's around them, and so they can figure out how they're supposed to react and act around it and such like that. Ooh, didn't realize I was getting close to the edge. Let's, uh, shift key for safety. So I do believe it is safe to mine upwards like this when there's ores. Is I don't think that we can actually get a uh, cave-in doing this. Oh, and there went the steel pick. If I'd been smart about it, I would have actually saved that. Ah, and used uh, the repair mechanic to get a little extra durability out of it. That pick gave its life for a good cause, however. Um, I don't know if we're going to get as much iron ore as we did, or as they did, I guess, out of the, uh, the first area. But I'm at least getting in more than enough to compensate for my, uh, for the picks that I have. And I'll also be able to return, you know, um, some stacks of iron, uh, or magnetite in this case, to people to, like, the, g the general area and repay my debt to the uh, to the server for the materials that I had bought uh, using. So, you know, I always like doing that. I like being one of the people that has the ability to give out the items. Uh, let me... I'm just gonna hop down the stairs real quick. They go whoa, 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 all the way down to the ledge. And here's what the uh, the ore looks like. Here's the uh, you know the bituminous coal here. Here's what it looks like in the uh, this is chalk. And this is the first time I've ever seen this, so I, I do believe it's a little bit rare. But that is uh, petrified wood across the way. <laughs> and uh, I I'm sure other people have seen it before, but I haven't. So this was kind of exciting to me. Uh, on top of all of this. Uh, on top of all of this coal and everything in the ravine, and the ravine being here, I also got to find something I hadn't seen in uh, TF Craft before. Or, if I have, I've completely forgotten about it. Suppose I could go watch the videos again and see. They don't record every second I've been spent playing this game, but there's a good amount of time <laughs> within the realm of TF Craft there. Uh, do, do, do. So I'm gonna keep on digging definitely have room for it. See what we can do. So exit, yep, two torches and then up to a shaft. I was wondering why it was so easy to get out of here. We actually had, uh, you can tell that this is where we were just mining to see what we could find and you know seeing how thick it was and all the other stuff. And then we got to about here, and everybody just went and chased after as much of it as they could. I believe uh, Kenta said, or not Kenta, sorry, uh, Dunkel said that this entire area was nothing but um, magnetite. So, I mean, that was a pretty good find, is this is, must be where the edge was, where the, uh, the lignite did not overtake it. And I'd actually be willing to bet that he missed those pieces simply because he couldn't see them with the textures looking so similar. Uh, I think even I went in around through there with the original texture pack and I didn't see those either, so the only reason why I caught them this time around was also because of uh, this texture pack. I was able to recognize and and uh, determine how to act. So, I'm going to assume yeah, there we go that we're going to have to dig through some of the coal uh, this is one of the problems with this being so interwoven like this, is we won't really know... It's, we don't have a lot of areas to prospect. Uh, there really isn't... I can hit here, and oh look, he found Lignite. Nothing of interest, nothing of interest, nothing of interest. Very large sample of Magnetite. So there's still a good quantity of Magnetite around here. And we're going to keep mining it up. Do, 
do. Going to get my own uh, steel anvil so I don't have to keep on traveling back and forth to town whenever I want need to make a new tool. Like uh, I would really love to have a saw again and a chisel again. Those are apparently two things that I did lose. Whoa, whoa. Those are apparently two things that I did lose in the uh, creeper attacks last night. Here we go. Get that piece from before. Be nice if this was a little thicker, but honestly, not all that concerned. It just would be easier to only have to dig through what I want. So these little spindly tendrils are uh, a result of the new ore distribution from Better Ore Distribution. Uh, this is something, uh, some of the stuff that he was showcasing where it um, it has like the nice solid center which uh, unfortunately seems to be mixed in with the magnetite or with the uh, lignite but it also has these tendrils that go off that are supposed to assist in actually finding it um, wh which it does you know you, you're likely to get a hit on the pro pick a lot easier because the tendrils do go off but once you found it it makes it a little bit harder to track it down because it's kind of uh, the edges are going to be a lot blurrier with all these tendrils and such. Hmm. That had... or well, it was uh, a piece of rock with nothing up, or with an ore above it. I wonder if that could have caused a cave-in. Although, what really is there to cave in here? It's mostly ore. If a cave-in did happen, it would probably just make it easier to get the ore. So there's a torch I remember. Smart movement makes everything easier. I get the impression we're going to end up having a huge pit in this particular area. Um, unlike the other mine, where they had a clean slate. Oh, oh, don't do that. That's never a good idea, especially when I know that there's likely a big hole right below me. Uh, and we're also fairly down, so lava is a distinct possibility. Uh, but unlike the uh, the other mine, where everything was kind of one large uh, one large deposit. This is a, a little messier here. Hmm. Wonder which way would be the next best way to go. Looks like this area is still pretty solid. There we go. Yeah. Wonder if I'm going to end up with more coal than anything. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I've kind of got two uh, two coal stacks worth of oh, and a chip shade. Two coal stacks worth of magnetite so far. So I'm still a little bit in the lead with the magnetite. And then we'll get off that block. Oops, and that one. This will put us back down into areas where we can go. I was hoping that would lead me somewhere a little bit better. There we go. See that piece over there taunting me right on the edge? Wonder what happens if you like raw harvest an ore block. Nah, nothing. <laughs> Good to know. I don't know. 
Maybe I have to swap to the other side of the ravine. Which I don't want to do right now because I don't have anything that could really get me over there besides going all the way down and just digging up the other side. Do we have a stone block? Oh, still says there's quite a bit of magnetite to be found. Oops, that's not a piece of bread. I'm so in love with my magnetite, I think I shall eat it all. Alright, this looks like a pretty solid area. And it seems to be pretty solid of uh, lignite. There we go. Although, I'm pretty sure this is the way that leads to the ravine. Yeah. <laughs> Yipes. Ah, so the lignite in the ceiling is going to be fairly interesting. Oh, did I bring the bucket? I meant to bring the bucket. I was going to snag some lava from down there. Ooh. Yeah, you got it. Thirty-six more pieces. How much more coal can I carry? Ooh, twenty-seven? Yeah. Just when I was about to give up on this direction. Coal, coal, coal. Going to try and avoid singing the Seven Dwarves song for as long as possible. So we're heading back towards the ravine again. Although I suppose it is entirely possible that I am far enough within the stone. Yeah, there we go. Chalk. torches to get us a different view. Looks like if we will go up we can find magnetite. Is this on the edge? Not yet. Oh, yet. Not yet by one. Yeah, 
And how are we doing? So it looks like we started another piece of coal. And get rid of the jade. One, two, three, four. Pretty close to the ceiling. Ooh, pretty close to somewhere else we've already been. Oh. There we go. We know there's a little something over here. Really close to the ceiling now. One, two, three. Whoa. That was, uh, not the right key combination at the right time. Fourteen more. There's one, two, three, four, five. The ironic thing about this is we have not been having coal issues on the server. So just tons of coal. So another eight, nine. And of course I'm starting to pick up coal again. Which, you know, isn't a bad thing, I suppose. Save me using charcoal in the forge. I'm sure you guys saw before, it took about uh, two stacks of charcoal between the bloomery and the uh, the forge to make my steel picks and my steel tools and such. Yeah, I'm not desperate enough to go into the ceiling yet. All the sake of one more piece of magnetite. And I missed it. Oops, oops. So, rotting meat. I'll get rid of rotting meat. And this is where I'm drastically increasing my chances of falling into lava. By case of freaky, uh, ooh, hole. By freaky random cave-in, even though I'm in the middle of a whole bunch of ore. <laughs> can just go back towards the entrance, which, ow, that was a little too far down, I think. Oopsie daisy. Put that over there. is the entrance there. There we go. And I am just going to tap right here real quick. Nothing, nothing. Large sample of jet. Great, there's another type of uh, coal over here. Very large sample of magnetite still. Alright, so I'm just going to, for the rest of the stack of coal I have, mine out this area, try to give it uh, some sort of semblance of sense. Oh, and I am almost full. safer to leave alone. And away we go. 
So no stairs because no chisel, otherwise this would be a lot easier on the stamina <laughs> to go up and down. And you start learning some of the trips and ticks, er, <laughs> trips and ticks, tips and tricks of uh, survival and such when your resources are potentially limited in playing the ultra hardcore matches is you know it, if you have some sort of a staircase like this you almost instantly want to replace it with steps so you don't have to jump up and use all this stamina to get up and down is uh... this is a fairly massive amount of stamina here and yeah no need to run it appears to be daylight outside and i know i could just Check the clock. Ooh, five o'clock in the afternoon. Oops. That means it is going to start getting dark very quickly. I think I even see the uh, the outdoors turning a darker color as we speak. Yes, I do. So, depending on how this goes, we might be sprinting a little bit on the way back home. But as it's kind of late here. Uh, this is likely to be a uh, fairly short episode, probably going to melt down a little bit more of this iron. Get prepped for making some more steel tools, which since you saw me do that on the previous episode, I will likely not uh, bore you through doing it all over again. So hopefully next time we see each other, I will be sporting a uh, steel sword. Or not a steel sword. Uh, maybe a steel sword. <laughs> um, hopefully some better steel armor. Um, I'm down to just half a half a chest plate so far uh... so uh, i'd like to get some armor and flush that out Oops, skeleton run and uh... a saw uh... a chisel although i'm not sure you know maybe i'll um... go over and how many times have i run this way and not seen that <sighs> anyways uh... maybe i'll just uh... go and get some of that copper and just make a whole bunch of little uh... copper uh, Whoa! Yipes! Oh, did not run fast enough to get away from the creeper. Look at all this! Wow! They must really like checking out my place. Just gonna swim a little bit faster. Ah, oh, fudge! Good. Serves you right, creeper. But yeah, um, it would be nice to have all that stuff. And then I can start looking into collecting the different pieces for uh, just, you know, some of the vanity metals. It would be really neat to have things like a, uh, like I, I like bismuth bronze. I like the, just the color of it. Uh, maybe some black bronze. Do, do, do. So don't need that. Got this instead. Oops. I forgot I would do that. Take those out, and did it again. So we got all that ready. We'll prep out. Ah, and I was going to melt some of this down, but then I just remembered I don't have any molds. So, gotta be close to nearing in on time frame. I know I've been going over that hour uh, quite regularly for the last couple of episodes. Uh, Last time I tried to base it on the file sizes, I can see to my right the uh, the different uh, um, I can see the different um, <laughs> sizes of the videos uh, that I've recorded. So I, I generally have one uh, that I'm working on rendering while I go and record the next one because you know it's nice to take a break and play uh, instead of working on uh, rendering videos all day and. Uh, the one before this episode was about an hour and 20 minutes and the episode before that so uh, 8 and 9 there uh, 9 is actually 5 minutes longer but file size wise 20, ge 20 gigabytes smaller so I don't know what I did to accomplish that but uh, that, that's my reason for the uh, the previous episode taking so long 
So since I don't have the ability to toss this in and show you smelting a uh, a platinum and a oop, bismuth, bah. a platinum and a uh, pig iron. Although actually, I will put that in there because we will want to finish those off. Um, I'll save some of this. I'll show it to you the next time, and we'll just carry on from there. So. Uh, Look forward to reading all your comments. If there's anything you guys want me to tackle, like uh, that, that mushroom farm is definitely on the way up. And getting some vanilla iron for, um, for pistons to turn water on and off would just be awesome. I am just not expecting that to actually happen. So I'll talk to you guys next time. Please leave me any comments, and I'll see you then.